Hey guys, Noel here, and it is Friday night, and before I uh, go to bed, I thought it would be fun to do a video game review for the video game section of the YouTube channel. It has been a long week of teaching, and I thought what better way to unwind on a Friday than to draw a very cool picture of Sonic the Hedgehog and review my favorite 3D fighter, which happens to be on the rival system of the Sega Saturn, uh, the Sony PlayStation. Although both are good systems, I actually would probably rank the Sega Saturn a little higher than the Sony PlayStation, at least in terms of my sentimental value. Uh, but nevertheless, we will be reviewing, uh, I think, the best 3D fighter on the PlayStation tonight. And that, my friends, is what I believe to be one of Capcom's best games, Rival Schools. This is a 3D fighting game that uses a excellent version of Street Fighter's fighting engine. Very fluid gameplay. If you know how to play Street Fighter and do Hadoukens and Dragon Punches and Hurricane Kicks, you will be able to dive right into this game and enjoy a vivid, colorful, energy-filled world of high school students who are masters at Dragon Ball-style martial arts and using said skills to rescue students from their rival schools who have been kidnapped by their rival schools. This is just as good as it sounds. This game is a two-disc game that features the arcade version of this game on the Rival Schools arcade disc and the Evolution disc, which is essentially the arcade disc with mini games and some extra characters that are not anything really special. They're basically new designed characters with identical movesets of pre-existing characters in the game. So without further ado, let's get down to playing some Rival Schools on the Sony PlayStation. Hit the lights. Turn our speaker up a little bit. And uh, we will now watch the anime opening to Rival Schools, which features a fantastic Japanese pop rock song, which was made especially for the PlayStation version of this game. Rival schools who are united by fate. I ran across this game uh, originally in, in Video Circus, the uh, local video game rental store in the uh, city that I live in. I was at a friend's house. We were going to rent video games. I thought this looked cool. And he was like, what the hell are you getting? And I was like, this game looks cool. I like anime. We're getting it. And uh, I was really into this game. He thought it was, he's like, ah, this is all right. But I, I was thoroughly taken with this game. I thought it was fantastic. And uh, I bought it as soon as I had a chance to buy it after renting it. So there we see uh, Batsu, Kyosuke, and Hinata, our protagonists. Um, there is a very colorful cast of characters in this game that we will look at right now by hitting the start button. So the, on the arcade disc, which is what we're going to be reviewing for this video, in another video we will review the evolution disc. Um, we've essentially got uh, our arcade mode, which is the important thing we've got here. And for the purposes of this review, we will turn the uh, match down to... Actually, no, we need to have this be two matches because this is the way this game is going to play. I'll show you. It's very similar to Capcom Fighting Evolution, which we just played uh, on our channel, uh, in the sense that we can switch characters in between rounds, and it would defeat the purpose of having that if we switched everything to one round. Um, so we have Kyosuke, Hinata, and Batsu. These are the main characters. We have Raizo, who fights like a combination of Blanca and Wolverine. He is the principal of Justice High School. And we have Hio, who looks a lot like... Uh, Zex from Gundam Wing with Sephiroth's sword and ponytail. It is really, very, really, very cool. Uh, we have Hayato and Daigo, who I believe are new characters for this game, for the, for the PlayStation version of the arcade disc. Then we have Shoma, Natsu, and Roberto from Gorn High School. Bowman, who is a evangelical Christian pastor, who is one of my all-time favorite characters in any video game ever uh, from the Pacific High School in the United States, coupled with Tiffany, who looks a lot like Cammy, and Roy, the stout-hearted American. We have Edge, Akira, and Gon from the punk uh, ghetto high school. 
and uh, Kyoko and Haido from Justice High School. And then we have Akira. And who is this? It's Sakura from Tamigawa Minami High School. I did not know that was the name of her high school. Uh, but for the sake of this review, we will be Hinata and Batsu because... As we play this game, we will get to see their story play out. The story mode to this game is fantastic. You basically have very nice um, voice-acted dialogue in Japanese. And you have still shots of the characters talking with other characters. But you'll see that they do a lot with a little in terms of being able to convey emotion. So basically, you'll just get pictures of characters in various poses and dialogue that goes with them in different backgrounds. <laughs> Kiyosuke, member of the morals committee. You know, the workloads in Japanese high school seem to be excessive, but the, uh, the pride and discipline that they take in their schools uh, is just fantastic. And I say that as a teacher. And if this, if this doesn't give us an accurate portrayal of Japanese high schools, I don't know what does. You know, I need to go to Japan and learn the Hadoken so I can uh, defend my school from, from invasion. So here's Roy. He is uh, investigating students that have been taken from his American school. It's been a while since I've played this game, but there's a very good plot. There is a mysterious boss that is actually controlling uh, Hio, the main boss. And the other thing I love about this uh, game are the loading screens. Sometimes people get annoyed with loading screens, but the artwork uh, that is shown in these loading screens is really fantastic. So, the music in this game is among the best music that I have heard in any video game ever. As we can see, the graphics are very colorful and vibrant. Now, if they had ever made a Dragon Ball fighting game like this, it would have been amazing. Um, if they had made Dragon Ball Final Bout to play like this, I mean, I don't even know. That game would be uh, an all-time greatest video game ever. Um, incidentally, this game takes advantage of the shoulder buttons to let you be able to do easy finish, uh, not finish moves, easy super moves. This game plays identical to Street Fighter 2, but in addition to your super moves, you also have a very cool tag move you could do with your partner, like this, that you do by hitting uh, triangle and circle. Now, I can tag Batsu in right now for the next round. So this has kind of a King of Fighters vibe to it, where you can choose between different players in different rounds. Batsu is the son of uh, the principal. Uh, I believe his name is Raizo. It's been a while since I played this game. I know we just looked at it, but I'm just trying to remember how it's pronounced. So, um, I have not uh, played the American version of the sequel to this game. I did have a, a burned copy of Project Justice for the sake of Dreamcast, and I have to say I was really disappointed with the music and the color palette of that game, which did not have the vibrance or energy that this game has. Uh, this game is just a wash in beautifully vivid colors and really energetic Japanese pop music. Um, you really actually, at least from my perspective, get into the story. Um, and it really is something that drives replay value, because rather than being forced to unlock things, you're just interested in seeing different character stories and how they um, develop. And the cool thing about this game, too, is that the stories are fairly concise, but they're also highly engaging. I think now we get video games that have story modes, and those story modes take hours to beat. And that, to me, is just not... I'm, I, I don't want to play a story mode like that. I want to play a story mode that I can sit and enjoy uh, as if I enjoy an arcade mode, but have that arcade mode have a good deal of depth and creativity to it Cre uh, as far as storytelling. 
Batsu, the hot-blooded transfer student. Annoying, that's a cruel thing to say. I just want to protect my school. Uh oh, here come the punks. Kakugo Shie! Good job breaking the fourth wall. Or maybe she was just talking to Kiyosuke. But she's looking at the she's looking at the camera though, so. Alright, it's fight two. It's Hinata and Batsu versus Gon and Edge. There's a special ending you get in this game. That is a fantastic loading screen. I need to have that in my classroom. I mean, absolutely, I need to have this in my classroom. Uh, there's an extra ending that you get. You get the true ending that will get you a very cool anime movie of all the characters having a picnic. Um, but in order to do that... Maybe the ending is only on the Evolution disc. I gotta... I gotta double check that. I'm sorry about that. But if you want to get the good ending, you have to basically beat the final boss with a team up move that you saw. The team up move that looks a little something like this. Now you'll notice my um, super move meter in the bottom is at one. I cannot do a team up move unless that is at two. But I can, if it is at one, do a super move that looks something like this. I can actually do that super move simply by hitting the trigger button um, above the D-pad, which makes for really intense gameplay if you can fire off a super move that quickly. You can also do the super moves with the conventional triple Hadouken motion and punch. Um, the high jumping that can happen in this game... It uh, doesn't make the players feel any less quick, which is a very cool thing. A lot of the time, you play games like Battle Arena Toshinden, which I like, but like players can jump really high, but it feels like they're swimming in water. That lightning bolt that strikes when you both kick each other at the same time is very, very cool. This game uh, really captures all that energy that Street Fighter Alpha 3 has, but uh, shoot. Um, but does it in 3D. That was a bad move. I'm done. That was a really bad move on my part. Now, if we uh, decide to uh, do the same fight over again, we don't have to worry about any loading. Which is nice. Again, very nice, uh, nice levels. Now, once we start fighting in the schools, uh, I think the levels get even more interesting. There is a great classroom and gym level um, that are great. Oh no! Should be able to finish him off with the power of teamwork. Oh no, he beat me to it. Ah, jeez, no more screwing around here. I gotta be careful here. Got him. All right, moving and grooving. John is a cool guy. Now, this Akira has a helmet. Akira is actually a girl, and we can be the um, helmetless Akira. Who looks a little bit like Skullamania from uh, the Street Fighter EX games. Uh, there are some characters in this game that do bear some striking resemblance to SNK characters. I think Edge's resemblance to Benny Maru is, uh, is pretty obvious. And also Roy's resemblance uh, to King from The Art of Fighting is, uh, I think, also interesting. They both even say, come on, baby. Except Roy is a guy and King is a girl.
Ooh, the plot thickens. Something's going on at Justice High School. Alright, now I'm supposed to lose this fight. Um, we'll see what I can do. But this fight you're supposed to lose because one of your people is supposed to be kidnapped. Um... And if you do somehow find a way to beat this fight, you do skip some fights um, that would take place otherwise. But Rizo is going to be extremely difficult here. Like, if, if you see how little damage my attacks do to him at this point, there's his Berserker Barrage right there. But his damage does quite a bit. So there's almost like kind of a level up aspect to this, like your character is not that strong yet, so they, she, he or she cannot really stand up to these characters yet. So he and his teacher are just whomping on me right here. Ah, judo throw. So, that didn't go well at all, and I was fighting kind of carelessly. Uh, if you really do want to try to beat him, you really have to be just very cheap and defensive. Oh no, he's kidnapped Kiyosuke, because Kiyosuke is the character we're not playing as. Patsu, are you the one that made everyone suffer? I'm not to blame, I don't know anything, and that's the truth. Man, I could just play this game all night, but I can't, because I'm, I'm very tired. Ah, the school! So Hinata, all upset, is now going to get into a fight with her friend. If only school fights were, uh, you know, fueled by this kind of positive mission, as opposed to, hey, you, uh, you talked to my man, and now I'm going to mess you up. No, this right here, we have, we have ethical, disciplined students with superpowers using those superpowers for good and positivity. But, you know, you shouldn't be firing energy blasts at each other. In, in ideal, you know. Now, I love the music in this level. I don't know how well you can hear it, but I'll uh, try to be quiet and let you hear it. And look at how cool these characters look when they, f like, flip back up from getting knocked down. You can also prevent yourself from getting knocked down as well by uh, hitting the D-pad before you hit the ground to this up in the side. Man. I love how the sports teams also f fire uh, volleyballs and baseballs instead of energy. Burning Vigor Attack Finish. Let that music play. Now loading. This is a perfect game to play on Twitch. But look at these like Dragon Ball style energy attacks. They just take up like massive amounts of the screen. It's really a shame that Capcom never did a uh, Dragon Ball game. I know Piston Takahashi and Dimps has, you know, did a bunch, but they never played with the fluidity or speed that this game does. They were really good, though. The original, the, the Dragon Ball Z uh, game on PlayStation is uh, very good. The one that uh, Dimps really focused on developing uh, with the Street Fighter engine. It's just slow moving. It's a good game, though. Darn it! All right, Shoma. Start strong. Uh-oh. Walked right into that. Uh-oh, got to be careful here.
Now, I don't believe Batsu has ever made any appearances outside of the rival schools games. Kiyosuke was in, uh, shoot. Kiyosuke was in, uh, Capcom vs. SNK 2. Darn it! Man. Ah, man. Well, that's unfortunately going to, uh, have to be the review. So... There you have it, guys. That is Rival Schools for the Sony PlayStation. An amazing game that you need to play all the time because it is my favorite 3D fighting game. It combines the real uh, beauty and the uniqueness of 32-bit polygonal graphics and imagery with the fluidity of 2D fighting and Capcom's really high-energy mid-90s uh, style. So... Rival schools, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give that game a 75. Until next time, guys, my name is Noel. You take care. Play lots of rival schools for the Sony PlayStation. Bye-bye.